But I got this nice little package right here, guys, that should uh, help when I actually get to the plant and make it go a lot faster. This is the Two Bad Cats Single Dibble Wheel. Ain't it a beaut? The assembly is pretty straightforward. We're gonna take out our bolt at the top, which is this loophole right here for our handle. Insert the handle right in. And then we put our nut and bolt back on. You want to make sure that the handle goes in opposite of where the wheel's gonna be. So when you're pushing it, you're pushing it offset of the wheel. Now, the actual Dibbler wheel comes with some excellent instructions. Here you got how you're gonna make it so you have all the different spacings you want. Three, four, six, eight, 12, all the way up to 41. So we're gonna use this eight inch spacing right here, which is every other four. Now the four is actually referring to a number that is inscribed on the inside of here. So we will do every other four, and that'll give us our eight inch spacing when we go to roll our dibbles. And these just go in with a screw. So we're gonna find a four. We'll put our screw in here. And then the spike goes on the other side. One of the good parts is you can actually store the extra dibbles that you have right up on the inside here. I like it so. All right, now the easy part, we're gonna take our wheel and we're gonna put it on here. We've got a nice cotter pin, pop that off, put the wheel right in through the axle there, cotter pin back in. If I can get it in there, man rage, can't get the tools in the right way. There we go, check that out. Check out this spiky wheel of death. All right, time to see what it can do. Now you have yourself a pretty awesome middle evil looking tool right here. This is a wheel dibbler. I got it at Johnny Select Seeds. Pretty nice, they have a couple different styles, but they use this wheel on both styles. So this is the cheaper version. If you wanted to upgrade to a uh, one that can do multiple holes at a time, that's what I'll be doing next, but this to start with is good, and that wheel will just be transferable between the two different tools. The next Assembly on this was yeah. pretty straightforward. You Plant only need the ground, a couple of tools. You walk so it's really good for people who are yeah, maybe not that handy. This model is what I would call the base model. It is one wheel. There is a upgrade, which can hold two wheels, and then there's a thing called the infinite dibbler, which you can configure to have as many as four different wheels on it.
What do you, you think? You want you like the it? major upgrade? They it's also have an attachment that can attach to the back of your tractor, and you can pull it behind you and do even less work. Really, when you buy this, what you're getting is the wheel. That is where the bang for the buck is. Uh, the design of the wheel is very genius to be able to adjust it for any kind of spacing that you would like. The one thing that I do have a complaint about is that I wish the uh, Dibbler spikes were a little bit longer. They're about two and a half inches long. I kind of wish they were like four so I could really get a nice deeper hole for some of the things I'm planting, like my garlic in particular. Uh, but for the most part, this tool is really nice and it has made making a whole bunch of holes a lot easier for planting all of this garlic. So if you're looking for a tool that might save your back a little bit, half of it, I still kind of got to cross down to plant the garlic, but the holes, putting them in will be a lot easier using that little wheelie dibbler. It will save a little bit on the back. Uh, not going to save it all, but a little bit is better than none. And uh, I have a bad back, so <laughs> any bit I could save is definitely a plus. All right, that's all I got for you guys. Remember to be bold, grow bold, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.